Yeah. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here, back again with another episode of UFC 4 Career Mode. Now, just to let everyone know, there's been a lot of comments talking about, "Yo, you play on easy. Yo, you playing on normal. Yo, why you not playing on hard? Oh, why you not playing on goat? Oh, why you not playing on legendary? It's just so many comments, and I've noticed." I went through this with every UFC game I've ever played. People talking about, yo, you're not good at the game. Yo, you do the same moves. Switch it up. Uh, I, I don't give a f I'm going to say something. This right here is my domain. I do what I want. I do what works. I do what's best for me. So for all those people in the comment section telling me, oh, turn up the difficulty. Oh, my God, do this. I don't care about that, but I have seen some great comments. People telling me learning different moves helps me out overall. Um, learning how to grapple, transition during the ground game. I love those type of comments. The other ones, I really don't care too much for. But with me being champion, if you didn't miss the last video, I went up against Nagano and I whooped some ass. I ain't gonna lie. He, he got me a couple times, some great shots, his overhand is insane i was scared the entire fight after i got uh into a health event he even made me get a minor injury where i had to sit out for a month but besides that now we are back with my first title defense and i just want to be clear every video for the next five videos i will have the same outfit on just as i had on the same outfit for the first like 15 episodes is because I'm bulk recording. That's something that creators do. If you're a content creator and you understand this, welcome to the same outfit. But let's go ahead and uh, check out my fight offer right now. And okay, it's this dude. So look, let me tell you a little story about this guy, right? So let me go on social media real quick. Um. This dude is a rival, of course, and not only is he a rival, we've never fought before. So basically what happened was he was the first fighter that I quote and unquote ducked. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to try what declining an offer would look like because I never did it. I took every fight that was in front of me every single time. So I was like, you know what? Let me duck this dude real quick. Then Daniel Cormier came up. And then this dude hit me up on social media and was just talking a whole bunch of smack. So I'm like, okay, let me see what I can do with this. And of course, I needed to do something for the UFC coins for a reward to make up a rivalry. So that's what I did. I just literally went into this dude and just start talking smack. Like it, it, it ain't about nothing. But now it's time for us to fight. I'm not going ducking. I ain't going to decline a fight or nothing like that. Even though I have up to three declines left right so we're gonna do a fight a five week camp right now let's go ahead and send to training now also just to let people know um let me click on so be careful what you wish for you gonna make it ugly for me cap so gameplay hard difficulty advanced everything is normal okay everybody always be like oh check the setting oh the settings <laughs> But I ain't worried about that, man. But um, as social media goes crazy, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my promotions. A UFC World Tour? Wow, that's that's insane. I never seen that before. Um, but let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's go ahead and predict the fight. Knockout. Uh, first round knockout. Why not? Um, post a social. I'm not gonna stream anything. All right, now um, I do want to learn moves. Don't get me wrong, I do want to learn moves. But I think that this mandatory promotion won't be able to get done because I still have a connection with uh, this fighter. Let me see, sponsorship, um, let me see. All right, so this, this calendar is five per week. I won't be able to do that with Dana White if this is gonna be five per week and the points don't roll over so this is stupid i don't know why they will put you on a ufc tour because they know that you have to have sponsorships to make a couple extra bucks and some fans that doesn't make sense but 
okay um let's go ahead and spar a little bit um so what i'll do is if i do um learn any moves or anything like that i will show you guys that but most of the time if you guys been watching my series which the playlist is in the description in a comment um i wait until i get all of my evolution points up and then i put those evolution points towards my fighter and then we get into the fight so i will see you when we get there one hour later i'm back finally just went through my five weeks of training um i acquired about 45 evolution points um i basically couldn't get my fighter all the way up with some of the moves in order to get the plus eight um let's see which which i think it was yeah my snap jab i couldn't get it to level four and i couldn't get my loop and cross to level four um some of these fighters are demons so uh i couldn't get any of those things but what i can do is i can get another perk as well as i can upgrade a little bit more of my fighter now uh let's see health i'm not really worried about um let's see perks i might i might do my chin strength low key but um basically this slot is empty because you couldn't unlock this slot until you became the champion so um we good let's see um when advancing or moving away all right untouchable scammer fast movement all right, weathering storms. Uh, let's see, fast hands. Mm, bulldog. Mm, bulldog might be good. Front and side kicks, recharger. Recharger. I'm definitely going to get recharger. Yeah, for sure um recovering more health between rounds is is vital all right so uh let's go ahead and go back here you're the best striker in the business let's go uh let's see um blocking may have to go up um let's see uh take down defenses at four stars right now so let's go ahead and put my blocking up i have 19 points so let's go over to health real quick um chin strength i've been i've been low-key uh, putting off let's go ahead and put up my chin strength I, i've been i've been playing a lot lately because i ain't been blocking i ain't, ain't gonna lie but uh let's go ahead and get into fight week you already know how it go man we're gonna run the intro i'm gonna disappear then i'm gonna come back fight time line them up i pop king carter will knock them down and out let's get right um let's see oh player hub hold on wait a minute challenges wait a minute wait a minute mm, what i do in career Mm-hmm. Game my stuff. Mmm. Sign five endorsements. I'll take that. Okay, and Ooh, what's this? Epic profile pick. Um, I'm kind of good on that one. Um, I like my own joint. Um comment emo side to side. Okay. 50 coins. Okay, cool. I mean, it's not bad. It's always good to get some challenges out the way. Um, and I'm guessing that's for the profile pick, right? And I don't know where it is, so I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So, like I said, see you guys at the fight. All right. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 
33 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, introducing the challenger, Alexander Drago Volkov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Carter. All right, so for the championship. You can give me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, so. Um, settings, gameplay. Uh, okay, I can't turn it off. All right, so Pete, I have an issue. My issue is I should not be wearing my crown and stuff inside the octagon. It is very unprofessional. I understand it's a video game, but maybe just let us do the intros with the gear and then make us actually wear the UFC uh uh gloves and attire and stuff like that i look crazy in there i'm about to fight this dude with a crown on for the championship belt this is about to be hilarious man let's go let's get right ah. all right so here we go with round let's get right <laughs> the baddest man on the planet the UFC what's up champion but he is really not resting on his laurels he said that is not enough in order to really be the champ i've got to defend this belt a lot of heavyweight champions haven't been able to do so. Come on. This is a belt that changes hands a lot. He says, I'm going to change history. I'm going to be the longest reigning UFC heavyweight champion. That begins here and now with title defense number one. Come on. Nice punch lands over the top. That's a big hook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a big knee. Ain't about nothing to me, boy. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Blocks the strike. Mm -hmm. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there. And I'm not sure. That's a stuff. Mm. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Nice kick. Volkov gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Come on. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer. He's right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Yo. Come on. Oh, the fight's done. That's a big stuff. Yo, I'm tired of stuffing these shots, bruh. Back to the feet. Under two minutes to go. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Ooh, what a punch. Come on. Just a slip there. Volkov gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Right? Just uh huh. Gets up to beat his opponent. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How much stamina do you have? How much stamina do you have? Huh? 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 How much stamina do you have? Huh? I got plenty. Nah. These type of transitions and nah. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. 15 seconds. This dude won't survive, ain't he? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially oh. playing with fire. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Oh 
Almost had him, man. Almost had him. I don't know how many times I had to knock this dude senseless, bro. He got in his opponent's face. This is crazy. I got right with him. I started beating the goofy out of him. He just kept getting back up, bro. Sheesh. Yo, that hook right there was everything, bro. It don't stop. Let's go. Come on. All right, here we go with round two. Come on. Shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes mm -hmm. into the latter rounds. Oh, come on, man. Volkov's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of sweat. Nope, I don't want to get hit. Yo, come on, man. I'm moving my head, bro. Come on. That's the stuff. <sighs> Are you kidding me, bro? Find himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Posturing up now, then he's out. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Here is the hook to the head is blocked. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big knee to the body. Oh. Mm hmm. Third bad job. He's got to press him. He's got to take that finish down now. Come on, bro. Full cop gets back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Slips to avoid the. Ooh. That's a big stuff. Nice job to stick with him. <sighs> Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, you thought the cut man did his. Oh, oh. That's bull crap, bro. Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. Come on, man. I'm blocking the best I can. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, meet me at the center. Oh, straight right. Come on, bro. You just keep taking me down to get me close to the cage, bro. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Knee to the body. Oh! What a fight so far. Mm. Yeah, and your blood all in my beard, bro. Come on, I got him, man. His head damage is right there. I just can't take no lucky shots, man. That's it. From that round, he went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a mm, big mm, shot mm. to truly put his opponent on notice. Come on, man. Listen, all I gotta do is get right. That's all I gotta well, do, bro. Crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd, obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just falling like crazy in that previous. They both came with an idea that they were collecting fifty thousand extra dollars. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just a perfect. Ah! I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So huh? huge, huge win. What's all that talking in the comments? Talking about <laughs> raise the difficulty. I hate it here. Uh, this was a clinic tonight in terms of mixing. that boy crumble. Listen, 
He looked like that joint that you, uh, the cup carrier joints from like Chick Fil A. When you crumble that joint, that's what exactly what he looked like, bro. Crumble, cuz. Uh, look like a soda can. Crumble, cuz. Stop playing with me. Now we go inside the octagon. Uh huh. Look at that. I'm going to the club tonight. You see me? Ladies and gentlemen. You see me? Don't shake your head. You knew what time it was. No go. Celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight. All right, so I had five knockdowns, right? I had better control on the ground. More strikes landed. I threw 50 more strikes to him, of course. Stunned and wobbled. You know what I'm saying? 47 significant strikes. He had 42. He took me down five times, bro. My ground game, my stuff game got to get better. That's my only flaw at the moment. And also blocking low and high. Like, that shit. Black and low and high, bro. For some reason, I feel like when you go from here and you try to go here, this the transition too slow. Like it's like it's like, and by that time they done hit you already. But you know what I'm saying? 178 bands. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right. Let me see. Was it fighter tonight? Uh, wasn't fighter tonight. Nope, I failed it. It's all good though. They ain't they ain't think that was a fight of the night. That's okay with me. You know what I'm saying? I did what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? We put on a show for the fans. You dig? Listen, post fight highlights. You know what I'm saying? You should be walking through. Bang! Crumble. You know what I'm saying? I ain't wanna throw both my hands. I just wanna throw the right because the right's so strong. You feel me? Let's go, man. Now, what I want to do is I want to thank you guys for coming through to this UFC video. Um, I want to ask you guys inside the comment section, should I keep wearing the crown during my fights or should I just take the crown off and rock my hairstyle? Um, let me know inside the comments. Um, just put hat or hair as the comment, okay? Hat or hair okay so just let me know and um i'll see you guys in the next ufc4 career mode video peace sheesh that belt look crazy <laughs>